Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matt and in this video we're going to optimize your Diffy website to make it fully mobile responsive. It's very easy, so follow the steps and we're gonna start right now. You might be designing your website you're thinking, well this looks actually pretty nice on my desktop. But you might know that more than 50% of all your visitors come today via your mobile device. Go over here, press on your right mouse button and press inspect over there. And you can see your dev tools, you go over here, this little icon, which says switch to mobile devices, right there. And then you can click on minimize this one. And then on the top over here, you can change your dimensions from responsive to iPhone XR, for example. And then you scroll to your website and you think like, oh, this is completely not good. It doesn't look good at all. Look at this. Log into your WordPress website. If you're still logging in using WP Admin, no, nope, no, that's not a very safe way to please watch my tutorials about securing your WordPress website because you don't want to get hacked. Then we go to Pages over there, and you go to Edit with Divi the page you want to modify. So what we're gonna do is click on here. And we're gonna switch to the mobile device right there. This header doesn't look very good up there. So there are different different things we can do what your client wants. I really like a clean header when I'm scrolling on my mobile device. I don't want to see all this. I want to hide this section entirely. I don't like it. So I'm going to click on it, go to the section settings in here. I go to advanced, go to visibility, and we're going to disable it on my phones. And maybe you also want to do tablets. Then we press on save. Here we go, now it's gone. Then we go to this section. As we can see this icon, I don't like the color of it. So I click on this module setting. It's just a normal menu setting. I go to design. I go to icons in here. And I'm going to change the hamburger menu icon color. Go to my global colors. I have it right there. Perfectly. Press save. If you also want to change the search icon color or the shopping cart, this is the place to do it. Now, when you click on here, you can see the drop down menu. If you want to change these colors, then we scroll up a little bit and we go to the drop down menu right there. Or maybe you want to give it a different color like this. Well, I like this. I don't like the line color. It is blue right now. So go to my global colors, make it black. That's way more luxury. And the drop down menu text color should be black. And then the drop down menu active color and then change it to the darker version of the background color. So people know where they are. And well, that's all we need to change over there. So we're going to press save. Then you can see this call us button over there. I don't like it on mobile, so I'm gonna over there, go to advanced, visibility. I'm gonna disable it on phones and I'm gonna press save. All right, that's the header. If you wanna see your page, just press on save page. Now to check how it looks, you can of course use your mobile phone or just go to here, press Ctrl F5 on your keyboard. Then the slider is way too small. So I'm gonna click on it, but then I get this box is great but I want this box. If you cannot select the right thing in here, go to your wireframe modus over here and we're gonna select the slider on the setting options. Go back to your mobile phone. Then we can go to design, we go to sizing and you scroll a little bit down and we go to height. On height we're not gonna change this one or else it will change on the desktop version. But you're gonna click on this icon right there and we're gonna put in the height for example 250 pixels. Now this looks way better for our screens. So I like this and we're gonna save it. Yes, now this looks way better than what it was. So great. When I look at my mobile, I can see that this box is actually way too small in comparison in the builder. Go to your builder over there, click on this one. We go to design, we go to the sizing. On desktop it's made smaller, 60%. So it automatically takes that to the mobile. I don't want this, I'm gonna change this to 90% on the width and maybe even 100%. Why not? Then the wording is just a little bit too big. So I'm going to hover over it, click on the pencil icon. I'm going to change over here the font. But remember, not this font. I'm going to click on this one. And then we're going to change this to 40 pixels. Now this is way nicer. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh this page. This actually works the way intended. Looks nice. But there's a little bit too much space over there. So I go to the section settings because there is where it is. I can't select it right now. So I'm going to my wireframe modus again. And go to the section settings over here. Go back to my mobile view. Then 
we go to design, we go to spacing, then we go to the padding, make sure to click on this icon and put in zero pixels. That's better, save it. Then we scroll down on this page and what do we see even more? Pictures, great. Oh, this is, this is hideous. Why is this? Well, let's see over here. We go to the sections of this text module. We go to design, we go to sizing. I can see nothing strange in here. So I might be doing spacing. Ah, in spacing, we have a top margin, which is great. And then we have a left and right margin. A mobile, not so great. So we click on mobile device and I'm gonna put in here 25 pixels left and 20 pixels, five pixels right. The way to actually do this is not this way because now I have, I also have to change this one, I have to change this one. It's way too complicated, too much work. What you need to do actually is go in here and change the width of the row to give more margin on the sides. That's the way to do it. But it's already been built like this, so okay. Go to settings, go to design, go to spacing, go to my mobile device, change this to 25 over there and 25 on my right. But then we can see that something's not right here. Let's go to sizing. Ah, the width on mobile is set to 100%. Who did this? I'm gonna delete it. And then I see that it's 50% over there, which is of course inherited from desktop. So to make sure that everything keeps working, I'm gonna put it on 90% and press save. Way better like this. Then the button, of course, completely missing the point on mobile. Go to design, go to spacing, 150 pixels on the left. Don't remove this. Press first on the mobile icon. And then we're gonna turn in 25 pixels on the left side. This is exactly the reason why you need to do this in your rows and in your columns and not in your modules. Press save. Then we scroll down and we can see, oh, this is Realtors you can trust. Well, it's not working for me right now. I, I can't even select it. So I go over there and I go find my section. Uh, where it is that? Realtors we can trust if you want to do this so you can more easily identify it. Copy this, go to admin label, paste it in over there and then you can always see it from there. Let's go back to my mobile view and then I'm going to hover over it. Click on the pencil icon and then I'm going to scroll down. I'm not going to change the text size, but I'm going to change the text line height. First, put it on mobile, of course, and then put in 1.0. It's even too big, so this looks great. I also noticed that it's not in the center. Or is it the icon? One of them is not centered. So I'm going to scroll down over here. We can see that this alignment is in the center. So it has to do something with sizing or spacing. Go to sizing. On mobile 60%, let's put it on 90%. That was not the problem. Scroll down a little bit. Go to spacing. Ah, here's a padding of 25 pixels on all devices. Let's go to mobile. And let's turn this to zero. Here we go. Now it's perfectly centered the way I like it. Press on save changes. And we scroll down if we can see more things that are not okay in our design. Here we go, another one, click on it, hover over it, use the pencil icon, scroll down, and then use the text line height, click on the mobile icon, put it on 0 0.9. Even smaller, great, 0 0.8. Excellent, save it. And that's the way we just check all the things we need to check. Again, one more over here is not okay. We go all the way down. Text line height for mobiles should be 0 0.8. Great, save it. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. Who created this website? Go into here, go to design, go to sizing. On mobile, I want to have 90% width. That is gonna help something. We go over here, go to spacing. Ew, there's nothing wrong with my spacing. How is this possible then? I know the answer because in this column, I did it the right way. I used the row settings. Go to your row settings, but it's actually two columns. So we go to the first column, I think it's the first one. Go to design, spacing, here we go. Mm, 150 pixels left and right, then you get this on mobile. So we're gonna click on the mobile icon over there and we're gonna change this to, well, let's say 25 pixels. Way, way, way better. 
but by using this method I don't have to change every single module inside of this column. Actually this is the way how to do this properly. Save and we scroll down and we can see another column over there which has a background image to it. How do we do that on mobile devices? Well, you first you go into the settings of your row and we scroll down so we can actually see it. Then we go to the second column in here. We go to design, we go to spacing. And we can also add in for mobile devices, we can add in a spacing on the top and the bottom like this. This way you can show your picture. This is one way to do it. You can also use a divider module and hide it on desktop versions and only show the mobile versions which gives also a spacing but it would be almost the same. Just gonna save it. Another strange column over there. How does this work? Well let's see what's going on. I think it's the sizing. Put it on 90% just to be sure. Almost. Then we go to spacing. It's not the spacing so it should be in a row. Save this one. Go, go into the row settings, first column, design, spacing, left. On mobile it should be 25 pixels and also on the right side, 25 pixels on mobile. Now this is actually way better. And when I refresh my page over here, now I can see that all is good and the whole website works the way it should be. This section is still small, so we're gonna look it up and change it. And then we have the moving testimonials which is very nice, but I think the testimonials are way too big for mobile devices, but hey, that's actually how they want it, all right? And then we have all these kind of things where it looks great. Now, if you want to have another header on mobile devices, just go to your Divi, go to your theme builder, and we can edit your global header over there. Right now I have this global header, when I go to mobile devices, it turns to this, so this one is left out, and this one is also left out. How are we gonna you create something nice on mobile device? Well, what I do want to have on mobile is I want to have this language switcher and I want to have my phone number in there. Well, it's actually pretty simple. In this case, I'm just gonna use this mobile. I just go over to my wireframe view. I'm gonna use the 100% carbon neutral, go to advanced visibility, hide it on my phone. Okay, language switcher, I want this. Call us, call to action. I already disabled this one, so that's great. Email, I don't want it, so go to advanced visibility, hide it on my mobile phone, save changes. And then the section, I'm gonna re-enable it again, visibility, enable on phones. And then we can see this on my mobile phone, we have the phone number and the language switcher over there. I don't like the positioning of the language switcher, I want it to be higher and more on the top right. So we're gonna change this right now. And what I do like is when you scroll down, it just disappears. Now, I like that. I created this with Sticky. If you want to know how to make your top menu sticky, then follow my tutorial on how to create a Divi website over there. It's an amazing tutorial. It will teach you everything about building a website without any plugins. Great. I think the most easiest way to do this is go into my row settings in there. Go to design, go to sizing, use the gutter white of zero. It's already done. All right, great. Then you're gonna use the max width and also change it for mobiles on 100%. And I think this is gonna change something. Save it. And I think I also put this a little bit down with my spacing. Minus 15 on mobile. Let's. Well, we can of course use this one. Why not? Use it minus 40. Why not? Let's see if it happens. If, if, if this is the solution, save it. Here we go. And then we have on my mobile device this. Well, it works. We can even put it a little bit more higher with another five pixels and add some padding to the left on this one. And, and then we have just a beautiful website for our mobile device, which works excellent. If you have any questions or you just want to say thank you, Matt, drop it down in the comments. I'll always reply. Hit that like button if I helped you out and subscribe over there because I have a lot more viewers than subscribers. After that, check out this video, which has nothing to do with mobile devices. Absolutely nothing. I think.